Each morning we are born again. What we do today is what matters most, Buddha. If you concentrate on finding whatever is good in every situation, you will discover that your life will suddenly be filled with gratitude, a feeling that nurtures the soul. Our own worst enemy cannot harm us as much as our unwise thoughts. No one can help us as much as our own compassionate thoughts. Observe the space between your thoughts, then observe the observer. The practice of mindfulness begins in the small, remote cave of your unconscious mind and blossoms with the sunlight of your conscious life, reaching for beyond the people and places you can see. Impermanence is a principle of harmony. When we don't struggle against it, we are in harmony with reality. The basic root of happiness lies in our minds, outer circumstances are nothing more than adverse or favorable. The mind in its natural state can be compared to the sky, covered by layers of cloud which hide its true nature. whenever possible. It is always possible. If one were truly aware of the value of human life, to waste it blindly on distractions and the pursuit of vulgar ambitions would be the height of confusion. The most precious gift we can offer others is our presence. When mindfulness embraces those we love, they will bloom like flowers. We are awakened to the profound realization that the true path to liberation is to let go of everything. Things falling apart is a kind of testing and also a kind of healing. Why, if we are as pragmatic as we claim, don't we begin to ask ourselves seriously, where does our real future lie?
Envy and jealousy stem from the fundamental inability to rejoice at someone else's happiness or success. Our lives are lived in intense and anxious struggle, in a swirl of speed and aggression, in competing, grasping, possessing and achieving, forever burdening ourselves with extraneous activities and preoccupations.